So what is acceleration? Well, acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. Remember, velocity is both speed and direction. So if you have a change in speed, there is acceleration. If you have a change in direction, there is acceleration. And if you have a change in speed and direction, there is even more acceleration. One could say that acceleration is a change in motion. How do we perceive motion? Well, we can perceive motion by location of three reference points. Now, the three reference points for me are um, the Scoutmaster, that desk, and that painting right there. Now, if you look at those three reference points and you know that they're the reference points, you can tell I'm moving right now because I'm moving. But if I stop, do you know if I'm moving? Not respect to those reference points. But imagine all your points of reference were stripped away from you as they are right now. You would not be able to tell whether you were moving or not. That's where the accelerometer comes in. Alright, so what is an accelerometer? Well, an accelerometer is a tool used for measuring acceleration. Here is our accelerometer. Our accelerometer is very primitive because it only shows the direction of acceleration. There are accelerometers that show rate of acceleration. Unfortunately though, ours does not have that capability. Okay, but how does this strange, unusual instrument work? I mean, it is only a cork in water, right? Well, let's imagine a balloon. So, imagine this balloon right here, in my hand. I will drop this balloon on the ground. We'll see what happens. I'm sure you saw that, I don't know if you didn't, but that balloon fell. Now, it falls because the air around it is lighter and the balloon is heavier. Take this red balloon. You see it? See a string behind it? I'm going to drop it. See that? Alright, so we have a cork in a jar of water tied down by a string. We have let go of the cork and it floats. That means the cork is lighter than the water. So let's do an experiment. The question, if I push the jar this way, what will happen to the cork? So the hypothesis, if the jar is pushed this way, then A, the cork will stay still, meaning it will stay in the middle of the jar. B, the cork will move this way. C, the cork will move that way with the jar. Or D, the entire thing is going to explode. Or E. This is so boring. Obviously the answer was C, the cork moved that way. Why did that happen though? It's the opposite of the balloon in that the balloon was heavier than the air. In this case, remember the cork is lighter than the water which makes it float. Now everything has inertia which makes it resistant to acceleration. The cork has inertia but however the water that surrounds the cork also has inertia. So when I move the jar, because the water is heavier than the cork, the water moves backwards with respect to the jar, while the cork moves forwards because the water pushes the cork. Like you just saw. Push the accelerometer over a long distance. Carefully observe and explain what the accelerometer tells you. Hold the accelerometer at arm's length and begin to spin. Observe and explain what the accelerometer tells you. What kind of acceleration is this? 